Hello everyone! Welcome to back to my vlog entries. This is my last vlog entry. No, it's been great putting this together over the semester. In my last vlog entry, I have decided to. Well, first I'll talk about Mike Norton, Norton, um, Sam Summers' freshman year roommate, who's also a social psychologist now. He in our in the Zoom he talked about how building things like with your hands and then like a tangible thing makes you really happy because it's like um you can look at it and like at the end of the day you could be like oh I did something today so you're not just feeling like worthless and unproductive like you feel like you've accomplished something and it makes you happier so what did I do I went out and bought this typewriter it's knockoff lego because lego is too expensive because I really wanted to make this typewriter because I've always wanted a typewriter. This doesn't, it won't actually work because I know like, I like to write, but typewriters, I think they wouldn't really, like it's really hard to like edit, go back, blah, 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 blah. So I don't think they would be feasible, especially if I'm just using it for fun and not for like actual assignments or my own like projects. They would be like just maybe one day after. I make more money and I can buy it myself and have it as a cute little decoration thing. But I want something I can make. So I wanted to make this typewriter that won't work, but it'll just be nice to look at. So, see you soon. By the way, I'm just on a vlog again. I haven't started. I'm just opening it up and it looks like all this Lego stuff and we're like knock off all of this. and it brings me back to my days my youth when i used to really love lego and i love looking at all my creations so i'm glad to be going back to my roots and also it's cute because it says like life i can't read backwards good life is always around and it well my good life will be around after i make this and look at it and be very happy so let's get cracking i have my Whoa, whoa, my, oh, I gotta rip it out, my instructions, retro typewriter, good life is always around, see how long it takes me to complete this, bye, hello, so, I am back with another vlog, and I meant to complete this, um, typewriter sooner but it took a lot longer than I thought so it's the day before the assignment is due so unfortunately I didn't have a chance to like I can show you guys so like that hold on it like whoa whatever <laughs> it like types and stuff so it's cute um I yeah, so unfortunately, I don't have the chance to, like, uh, my original plan was, like, to vlog a, at least a few days of me, like, being able to, like, look at this, um, typewriter and be, like, wow, how do I feel? But I'm just gonna vlog about how I feel now. I feel great. <laughs> I put a lot of hard work into this. Um, it took a lot longer than I thought it would be, especially because the instructions weren't very simple, and I had to go back a lot of times and, like, redo stuff, so... I know I put a lot of work into these things, uh, into this thing. And it's nice because I feel like with a lot of, this is, I actually, here's my little thing. I actually emailed Mike Norton. I looked him up on the Harvard Business School website and I emailed him and I was like, hey, do you want to give me like a statement on your thing? So let me just pull that up. I've already read it, but I want to like refresh my memory on it and then put it in my blog. Basically, yeah, I'll just read this brief quote and then I'll talk about it more, like my analysis of it more, like written out. But briefly, he told me that whenever possible, we choose to exert the least effort possible, but it can be wise to add some effort back into our conception to improve our experiences. So yeah, basically, like I didn't have to build this thing. Like it's something that I chose to put effort to it and build. And after I did that, it makes me feel proud of myself that I like actually put effort into this and worked hard for something. Um, because like, like he said, a lot of the times in life, we don't put effort into so much stuff. So it's nice to, we put the least amount of impact, least amount of effort in possible, like to just to complete it. But it makes me happy to feel like I put the extra effort in and 
feel accomplished and proud of myself. Like I did something at the end of the day. I have a goal. I have a purpose. Um, I'm not just useless. Can you hear me typing? I don't know. 